Welcome to another DIY. In this video, I will be flushing the brake fluid on this E90 2008 BMW 328i. I will be using this TYP200 brake fluid.4. And also, I'll be using this Swaben brake bleeder system. So let's do it. Jack stands for safety. I removed all four wheels. You have to remove that cover. That's where the brake reservoir located at. There's two tabs on both sides. You have to unclip those. Slide the rubber tab off. Clean the top of the reservoir. You don't want to contaminate the brake fluid. Brake fluid is very corrosive. It will damage the paint. So you have to be very careful. I used turkey baster to remove some fluid. Make sure not to pass below the minimum level of your fluid. You don't want air to get in the system. Oops, I forgot my safety glasses. The fluid is in the minimum line now. Now top off your reservoir. Normally, you put the brake fluid into the bleeder pump, but I do it the other way. I pressurize the pump to 10 PSI. The blade screw got stuck. Clean the bleed screw. For the rear, I used 9mm box wrench to prevent rounding off the bleed screw. This is my homemade catch bottle. Open the bleed screw about a quarter turn. Keep checking your reservoir. Make sure the level will not go past below the minimum line. Clean the bead screw and reinstall the cap. Release the pressure from the pump. You have to top off the reservoir again and do the same steps for the rest of this DIY. 
I'm not going to film the rest of these procedures because they are all the same. After you're all done with the bleeding procedures, add your brake fluid to the max level. Reinstall the cover. Here we go. Make sure the two tabs on the sides snaps into place. Make sure the rubber tab is in place. Before I will put the wheels back on, I need to clean the wheel hub. I will use anti-seize compound for easier wheel removal next time you remove them. Torque all your lug bolts to 90 foot pound. If you like this DIY, please like, comment, and subscribe. More DIYs to come. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.